This is BBC News. I'm Sean Lay with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. US President Joe Biden says he's convinced that Putin has made the decision to invade Ukraine with an attack on the capital, Kiev, in the coming days. We're calling out Russia's plans loudly and repeatedly, not because we want a conflict, but because we're doing everything in our power to remove any reason that Russia may give to justify invading Ukraine and prevent them from moving. President Vladimir Putin will watch military exercises involving ballistic and Russian nuclear forces on Saturday, joined by President Lukashenko of Belarus. Moscow says the military drills are a threat to no one. Storm Eunice leaves a trail of death and destruction in the UK and across Northern Europe. And a former Minnesota police officer is sentenced to two years in prison over the fatal shooting of the black motorist Dante Wright in April of last. Hello and wherever you're watching in the world, welcome to BBC News. Good to have your company. We begin this hour with the Ukraine crisis. President Joe Biden in a news conference on Friday evening said he is convinced that Russian President Vladimir Putin has made the decision to invade Ukraine with an attack on the capital Kiev expected in the coming days. The announcement comes amid fears of a serious escalation in the crisis where there have been more artillery bombardments across the front lines in the east of the country, the Donbass region. The U.S. has accused Russia of mounting a campaign of disinformation about what's going on there. The Donbass region is made up of the self-declared People's Republics of Donetsk and Luhansk. They've been fighting the Ukrainian army in the east of the country for eight years now, in a conflict that in all has claimed more than 14,000 lives. The Western countries fear President Putin could use an incident in the separatist republics as a pretext to invade the rest of Ukraine. Our correspondent Orla Gerin has been in the frontline village of Truvdivsky, from where she sent us this report. <laughs> 